My father, Dr. Finn Peterson, was forced into hiding by corrupt governments and their relationship to Big Pharma. Why? Because my father was on the cusp of curing dozens of diseases, no more need for lifelong medication. Can you imagine what that implies? Well, the big drug companies certainly can. So while my father continues to make further improvements to his formula, I'm taking his treatment on the road to save as many lives as humanly possible. I'm Haley Richardson, and we have a developing story coming from the East Coast. The Metropolitan Police Department is still searching for clues after a home invasion occurred last week involving a mother and her young child. The suspects are still at large. The incident occurred late at night when an armed intruder broke into the suburban home. Both victims were restrained. After multiple hours, the woman managed to free themselves and fled the area. She reported that during their escape, another man broke into their home and gunshots were fired. It's unknown at this time whether the two men had any previous connection or any connection to the victims. I got it. Make yourself another coffee. You need another one too? <laughs> yep. Oh, careful, honey. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay, maybe let's get the coffee for now and have some water and breakfast. It's the third time this week that's happened. I haven't felt like this since I was pregnant, but this is different somehow. Hey, what didn't you tell me? This is dangerous. What if you had fainted while holding Liam? I can't be here all the time, you know. I know. I'll call Dr. Andrews tomorrow. Or maybe today? My mom was diagnosed when she was 30. Sarah. I'm just saying, maybe genetics has fucked me over here. It's all the more reason to call Dr. Andrews. It may not even be cancer anyway. I'll get it. Hello? Hi there, I'm calling for Sarah. Hi, yes, this is Sarah. Hello, this is Alexandra Smith. I'm a nurse calling from Northwestern Memorial Hospital. I just wanted to quickly speak with you about your last wellness visit when you and your son came in. How is he doing? Is he keeping up with sleep and eating regularly? Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's he's doing great. Um, he loves to eat, and I think we've got his sleeping routine down pretty well, I think. Oh, that's so excellent to hear. He really is such a cutie, Sarah. Listen, I'd like to talk to you a bit about the results of your blood work. Uh, your postpartum levels came back, and they're alarmingly off balance. The doctor would like to get you in as soon as possible for a follow-up. It's leukemia, isn't it? We don't know that for sure. Genetically, you are more susceptible to it, but we need to run some tests before coming to that conclusion, okay? The main goal is to make sure you and Liam are healthy, and that you're also mentally feeling balanced postpartum, not just physically. If you aren't able to schedule right now, that's okay, but please give us a call when you want to make an appointment, alright? Sooner is better than later. Bye-bye. for an update on a story that continues to unfold on the East Coast. Two weeks ago, a home invasion occurred in a quiet suburb where a mother and her child were held hostage for several hours before they were able to escape. The Metropolitan Police Department has now released that the intruder had been identified as 32-year-old Zepp Hindle, an orderly at Angel of Mercy Hospital. Hindle has not yet been apprehended, and the Metropolitan Police have conducted searches throughout the city, advising civilians to report any sightings of Hindle to their local authorities. 
Hey, babe. Hmm. I, th I think I've found someone who can help you. Sure. I'm really serious. Will you please just take a look for a second? My father, Dr. Finn Peterson, was forced into hiding by corrupt governments and their relationship to Big Pharma. Why? Because my father was on the cusp of curing dozens of diseases. No more need for lifelong medication. I got it. I'll be right in. Matthew? Matthew? I think you should call Dr. Peterson. No. I've done everything she asked. These things take time. You don't have time, Sarah. Matthew, I swear to God, do not make this more difficult than it has to be. I followed her aftercare instructions. I've taken the meds. What the fuck is your problem? Sorry, I want to have my wife around for the rest of my life. I have to pick up our son from daycare. I'm not bring this up again. This is Cecilia Peterson. Thank you for reaching out. Hi, Dr. Peterson. Um, this is Sarah Atkins from Chicago. I just wanted to give you a call because something's not right. I haven't been feeling well, and I just sorry, wanted to. The number you have dialed is not in Hello? service at this time. Dr. Peterson. Babe. What exactly is in this? Um, it's, it's Venzaprine. Um, I just take it when she asks me to. Honey, can you grab me a tissue, please? But what does it even do? Matthew, I said I don't know. You can look through my paperwork later. Can you please just help me? Sorry. Fuck. Here you go. <sighs> okay, but that's the thing, though. I mean, you said you tried to call her, right, Dr. Peterson? But the number didn't work. And I tried looking online, but your paperwork is so vague that I couldn't find anything about the medication or even what it does. And also, we don't have the number of anyone else on our team who helped treat you in Mexico. I mean, Peterson didn't even perform your surgery. It was a, a Dr. Cortez. There, there, there was a girl, there, there, there was a really sweet girl, um, Gabriella, we, we, we could try to find her. Um, uh, what about Valentina, Mateo, my, my nurse, my anesthesiologist, they're not in my records. Take a look later, okay? Hello? Hi, Sarah. This is Dr. Andrews calling from the Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Is now a good time to talk? Um, yeah, sure, no problem. I'm free. We have the results of your scans back after you came in from seeing the specialist in Mexico, and I want to discuss the results with you. Okay. Um, is your husband home right now? No. He and my son are out on a walk. Why is something wrong? Sarah, look. I don't know the details of your treatment or what happened in Mexico, but your scans are no different than they were before. Your leukemia is not only still present, but it appears to be rapidly progressing in a manner that I haven't seen previously. I need you to tell me what the doctor in Mexico gave you, how long you took it for, and if you're still taking any medications, I would like us to set up a plan to take you off them as soon as possible. Can you give me the name of the pharmacy, the doctor, and the clinic you were seen at? I'd like to take a closer look at who treated you. I'm gonna die, aren't I? 
let's not jump to that conclusion yet. There are many treatments we could try, and the sooner we get you in here, the better. I'm concerned, but we're not out of options for you. My biggest concern, frankly, is looking more into who treated you and where you were treated. Dr. Andrews, the only thing that's left is our website. Other than that, it's a dead end. Um, can I make a follow-up to see you? I need to step outside real quick. Of course, yeah, but don't delay. I really need to see you as soon as possible. You take care now, okay? The Metropolitan Police Department has continued to release details regarding the home invasion that occurred a few weeks ago on the East Coast, leading to a woman and her young daughter being held hostage. Former MPD detective David Tapp was identified as the second man to enter the suburban home. Tapp reportedly engaged a brief shootout with the suspect, Zeb Hindle, who is still at large. The home invasion victim's husband whose name has not been released, was abducted on the same night. The whereabouts of the husband, Hindle and Tab are still unknown. Police are advising citizens to report any suspicious activity. What's wrong? Nothing. I've known you for almost a decade, and I know when you're lying, Matt. <laughs> What's wrong? He looks just like you. We've talked about this before. He'll grow out of it and take on some of your dreams. Oh, babies do. How am I supposed to raise our son without you? When a reminder of you will be staring at me in the face every fucking day. I'm gonna fucking kill Dr. Pierce. Matthew. <laughs> I'm actually gonna fucking kill her. I don't care anymore. I can't do this without you. John Davis. Today's weather is clear skies all day with a high near 45 degrees surrounding the area. We also have breaking news coming from the East Coast. At a press conference held this morning, Police Commissioner McGill shared new details regarding the home invasion case from last month, where a mother and her child were held hostage for several hours after her husband was abducted. A former Metropolitan Police detective intervened before both he and the suspect fled the scene. More on this story as it develops. Good morning, everyone. As you are aware, several weeks ago, a home invasion took place that involved a mother and her child who will, at this time, remain unnamed. On September 29th, a man, who we've now identified as Zepp Hindle, broke into a suburban home and held a woman and her child hostage. The woman's husband was also abducted earlier that day. The ordeal lasted several hours before the woman managed to free herself and former police detective David Tapp entered the home. Tapp engaged in a shootout with Hindle at around 6 p.m., with the family having already fled the scene. The whereabouts of Tapp and Hindle are currently unknown, but I can assure you that the Metropolitan Police are doing everything that we can to ensure that this matter is safely resolved. I love you. We need to start thinking about the future. About Liam. He needs you and will keep needing you. I can't do this without you. I love you. Dr. Peterson killed you. She fucking killed you. Matthew. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. Sarah? 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 Sarah?
think you should call Dr. Peterson. No. Yes? Is this Matthew Atkins? Yes, it is. Mr. Atkins, this is Corder Young from the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. I'm really sorry about your loss. I wanted to give you a call about your wife's toxicology report. It came back with very unusual results. Do you have a minute? Yes, I do. What did you find? We found an unknown substance that we're currently testing in our labs, but our lead toxicologist told our team that he'd never seen anything like it in the human body before. Mr. Atkins, we we think whatever your wife was taking after her trip to Mexico may be the cause as to why she passed away so quickly. Do you have her records from her time with Dr. Peterson, was it? Second. I have it. It's Venzaprine. V-E-N-Z-A-P-R-I-N-E. -E. Thank you so much. I'll pass this on to our toxicologist and he'll look into it. You take good care, okay? Your whole life happens then. Who is this? This is Cecilia Peterson. Is this John Kramer?